Yo, yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, this video is gonna be in flashing lights, and today we're back as a paramedic driving our Fairfax uh, County ambulance. Should be lots of fun driving this thing here today. I got the one with the kind of like yellow and red um, markings on the back. I don't know exactly what this is called. I guess it's kind of like a warning sign almost. Um, but yeah, either way, we got all of our equipment here and I decided to use this uniform today. This is one of the default uniforms, but I do like this quite a bit. We got our gloves on, we have our mask, obviously our sunglasses, because it's a little bit sunny out. Uh, as you guys can tell, it is uh, definitely the afternoon right now. But here we go, okay, vehicle incident. Let's go ahead, accept that call. Let's hop on into the ambulance. And do you have any more information? Uh, no, just vehicle incident. It doesn't seem like anyone is trapped, which is good. We can start up our ambulance, go first person, and let's actually pull out the map as well. All right, so it's not too far away. Should be able to get there pretty fast if we take the interstate. So yeah, here we go. I'll turn on the lights and sirens as well. In case anyone wants to see how those look like, then there you go. But, okay. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll make a right over here. This should be pretty simple. Now, okay, traffic is definitely, definitely a bit heavy right now. But we didn't make it through that. Hopefully, there isn't too much more coming up. You can watch through these intersections. Looking good. Go back in first person. Alright, just keep on driving. Be very, very careful. Uh, we do crash our ambulance, honestly, quite a bit. It's kind of annoying how often we crash. It's just I'm a bad driver, if we're being fully honest here. <laughs> but, okay. Go along like this. And we should be making a right-hand turn here, going on this off-ramp. Actually, it looks like it is on the ramp as well. Uh, oh, actually, wait, no. I'm wrong about that. It's below. A bit of a different area than we're used to, uh, which is pretty cool, I'd say. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna cut off the siren. We'll keep our lights on though, just because it's a little bit loud and obnoxious. I think they know by now that we are coming. And whoa, we have never had this call before. Very, very cool. Okay, let's go ahead, put out our. Uh, traffic advisors there we go I'll turn off the ambulance now the road is actually still open on the other side uh, I don't know why that is I'm debating actually grabbing some traffic cones quickly and just throwing them down yeah I'll just do a few not too many but I just want to make sure that we're gonna be safe when working here today uh, yeah look at this like what in the world is happening you guys gotta stay back <laughs> There we go. That should be should be pretty good. I'd say we're safe now to start working. So let's go over here. Uh, we're going to grab our medic bag. Now we have someone on the ground and someone who is in a vehicle as well. So lots of stuff happening. Let's go ahead. Uh, not breathing, no pulse, and unconscious already. Definitely want to help them out right away then. To at least get them breathing and then we can check on the condition of the other patient. There we go. Anything else to note? Uh, nope, not really. Just not breathing, no pulse, and unconscious. So we're going to definitely uh, perform CPR. First, got to remove their shirt. And here we go. Hopefully, we can get them revived just like this. But we'll probably need the defibrillator at least just to put in some leads so we can see uh, what the status is. Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and grab that from right over here, uh, defibrillator. And we'll place it down here. Put on the ECG leads, one, two, and three. And it says shock patient. So let's get the shock pads on as well. There we go. And three, two, one, clear. There we go. Okay, let's check the leads again. And they look to be a lot better so what we can do now is actually put a neck collar on them let's go like that and then um okay i'm actually going to request for transport for this person as well there we go should be pretty good okay we do want to remove this though so remove all 
And that's all good. Alright. So now we can check out. Ooh, you are driving like a madman. There we go. Let's go over here. See what's happening with this person. Spec patient. Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Uh, okay, they are breathing. There's a pulse found. So we're all good with that. I'm guessing a neck injury, though. Uh, yeah. Possible neck injury. They are conscious, though, which is good to see. So we can just grab a neck brace and probably then just load them up uh, on a stretcher. Here we go. And yeah. So apply neck collar, just like I thought. Let's grab our medic bag, bring it back over to the ambulance. And then grab the stretcher. So, uh, what's it under? Items, I think? Yeah. Stretcher. Go right over here. It's been a while since we've actually used a stretcher in the game. Keep having other people do it. Why is that icon showing there? There's no one to pick up. Okay, how am I supposed to get this through here? You guys really do not think about that. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to push this firefighter the way, I think. Or can I, like, maybe back up? Yeah, my cones are in the way, too, now. Ooh, this is going to be challenging to get this in here. Okay, let's see if we can kind of turn around a little. And is that going to work better? It's really hard to tell. Come on. Let's back it up. There we go. Pick up the patient. Now we can bring them over to our vehicle. Just right over this way. Perfect. Uh, okay, I'm going to actually leave the doors open because we've got to put our cones away. There we go. Be back in a sec, ma'am. One, two, three, and come on. Four, five. Perfect. Got all of the cones back. Back at eight of them. Put that there. Close the door. Now, we need to figure out a way to get out of here. Um... <laughs> I'm going to say best option would be, actually, we could go, ooh, can we, let me see, I think we will fit, yeah, it looks like we will, okay, come on, there we go, very, very tight fit, probably going the other way would have made more sense, but we are all good, get the sirens on now and hit the road. So here we go. Watch our turns because we now have someone in the back. Uh, I'm going to turn it right over here. There we go. And again, I'll cut off the sirens because they're a little bit loud, but our lights are still in fact running. Okay, so yeah, just up ahead should be the hospital. Keep gaining speed. Hopefully we don't have to deal with much more traffic. Been pretty good today, though, I'd say, in general. If only had to deal with a few people blocking us. There we go. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm just signing my... Uh, I'm turning on my siren just so they know we are here. There we go. And can stop right here. Turn off the vehicle, open the door, and get this person out of here. Let's go uh, technical... Nope, items. There we go. And then stretcher. Perfect. Grab on there. And let's bring them in. Nice and slow, apparently. <laughs> Come on. Gain some speed. That's what I'm talking about. And we are good. So, guys, what I'm going to do now is wait for the next call. Make sure we have all of our supplies refilled. When I'm doing that, here's a message from our sponsor. Join Lava Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Okay guys, we got a vehicle collision. Let's go ahead and hop on out. I was just making sure all of our supplies were good. Here we go, get in the vehicle. And okay, let's see where we have to go on the map. Uh, okay, not too far away. I think we'll actually take some side roads to get there, which is something we don't do too often. But yeah, let's go ahead and get moving. I'll just keep the lights on for now since we don't really need the sirens in a parking lot. <laughs> go right like this. There we go. Watch these turns. Okay, now that we're at the intersection, I'll turn on the sirens again. And go like this. There we go. And okay, I'm just going to use our horn 
to tell people we're coming through here. Here we go. I love that kind of like American sound that it has. Very, very cool. <laughs> okay, just keep on going straight. I think we'll turn back on the sirens now. Should be good. It's just up ahead. Now, I believe we've done this call before. Maybe it was just for a thumbnail, I don't know. But I do recognize the location, which is nice. So we have a little bit of knowledge of what to expect. But I honestly don't remember it too well. And there is some variety either way. Here we go. All right. Yeah, two people on the ground. Uh, I'm actually going to turn around here. Look at that drift. Ooh, can we clear this? Yes, we can. And we'll post up right over here. I think that should be good. Okay, put on our traffic advisors. Actually, we'll just tell people to go around to the left side of us. Turn off the ambulance, hop on out. And yeah, this is going to be an interesting call because both people seem to be in not the best condition. I hope that we are wrong about that. But let's go ahead and check. Inspect patient. Are you breathing? Nope. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely going to help them right away. Here we go. Come on. Let's keep on checking. Possible bone fracture. Okay, that's good to know. And yeah, definitely going to want to perform CPR on them. So remove their shirt and perform CPR. Here we go. Hopefully this will do its trick. Uh, but again, I think we'll probably need the defibrillator. Just judging from the way most calls are. Yeah, there we go. At least just to check what's happening. But who knows if we're going to have to shock them or not. Uh, there we go. Put on the ECG leads. No clue what that stands for. I'm guessing E is like electric current graph. Oh, maybe that's it. Electric current graph. I don't know. That's just a guess. Uh, shock pads. If that's right, I'm going to be very impressed. Let me know in the comment section, guys. And okay, here we go. Clear. Perfect. Use fracture kit. Uh, we will do that, but not quite yet. They are now breathing. So, ooh, I just pushed you around the map. Okay, let's see how this person is doing before we worry about that. Okay, they should be all good. Yep, looks like it. Okay, I'm just going to finish this inspection. Ooh, possible bone fracture as well. Okay, so we'll probably go back to the other person in just a sec. Uh, I'm going to just put a neck collar on you. Just please stay here, and I will be back to help you out. Let's go here. So, okay, they need a fracture kit as well, actually. So we can go ahead and grab that. Uh, do, 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 items, fracture kit. There we go. And throw this down here. Perfect. I just want to get her transported first because she was in worse condition. Uh, we did have to use some very extreme equipment to help her out. There we go. Uh, okay. Now, what? Ooh, where did our medic bag go? I guess actually, let's just throw this on here since we have it. There we go. And, uh, yeah, we will... Do, do, do items. Uh, okay, so we need medic bag. Because she still needs a neck brace before she's ready for transport. Go neck collar. And then, uh, actually, you know what's going to make the most sense? If I bring her in ourselves. So let's put back on her shirt. There we go. And I'm going to uh, just request transport for this guy. Because transport might take a little bit to get here. But we can go right away with the other person since we are good and the cops can watch over I don't expect the condition to change there they do have CPR training if needed but again we do have them pretty stable they were stable to begin with but this person not really the same way here we go and yeah so they're coming now but we are leaving the scene perfect timing all right start on up and can we get out of here? Yes, we can. Let's get moving. Nice and quick. Uh, we'll take this road. Here we go. Actually, mm, taking the highway might have made sense there. It's whatever. We'll make it there either way pretty quick with this ambulance. Ooh, that tree is very low. I don't know how I didn't realize that before. Um, okay, yeah. Let's go this way. 
And then we'll just follow the road straight. There we go. Ooh, okay, watch these turns. Do not want to fling this person across. And we do have them strapped in pretty good, but better safe than sorry. That person is so drunk. Here we go. All through here. Okay, turn back on the sirens again. Come on. Nope. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll just go in uh, the other side. Even put on my turn signal. Just for fun. <laughs> And we are good. Turn off the vehicle, jump on out. We can go back here. Now, I wonder how big the batteries are in emergency vehicles because if our lights are on, but the vehicle's off, right? Um, you obviously want to have a big battery to be able to do that. So yeah, if you guys know anything about like emergency vehicles, like fire trucks, ambulances, or police cruisers, uh, yeah, let me know if they have a giant batteries or what they do to make sure that they don't just die on on a call if you uh, accidentally turn off the vehicle for an uh, extended period of time with the lights still running. I actually, maybe like the lights are off a different battery? I really don't know. Anyways, I'm going to restock all of our equipment again and when I'm doing that, um, yeah, we'll just cut it out. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay guys, we got reports of an unconscious person. Let's hop in our vehicle. I ended up actually fueling up as well, uh, just because, I don't know, seemed to be running a little bit low. And okay, let's get moving here. Person seems to be in a very interesting area. Don't know exactly how we're gonna get our ambulance back there. Let's go through here, please. Just wait, there we go. Looking good. In general, people respect that we're driving with their lights and sirens on and we're trying to get somewhere, but there is the occasional person who uh, ignores us or gets in an accident with us or just drives a little bit recklessly. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If you guys ever see, if you're ever driving uh, and you see a emergency vehicle, especially if they have the lights on, like, just be respectful. Give them right away. Um, obviously, if you were the one that they were going to go rescue or help out you would want them to get there super fast right so yeah just in that sense just do for others what you would want them to do for you but anyways here we go we can turn off the vehicle hop on out and let's see what's happening i don't know who that guy is hopefully just a bystander who found the person i'm not quite sure hmm are you good? You didn't like shoot them or anything? <laughs> okay, spec patient. Here we go. No pulse. Uh oh. And yeah, okay. We knew she was unconscious, but yeah, no pulse is not a good sign. So we're gonna have to get everything brought out, most likely. Ooh, and possible brain fracture. That's not good either. There we go. All right. Uh, we are gonna remove the shirt and then perform CPR. Here we go. Should be done pretty quick here. They did reduce the time um, by quite a bit for that, which was nice to see. I think it's a perfect length now. Okay, let's go over here. What is this guy doing? Hello. <laughs> okay. Defibrillator. Just walking by. Yep. Alrighty. I don't know why people walk back here, but I don't know. If you want to go for a walk behind buildings, you do you. And, ooh, they're actually good now. That... This is a lot better than I was expecting. All right, use fracture kit to stabilize wounds. Do it nice and quick. Uh, fracture kit. We should be good to go. Yep. Perfect. Don't need to put on any band-aids on or, or bandages, I should say. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so that guy was just waiting for us to get here. He's just a bystander. He probably called it in. Good Samaritan. There we go. Grab the stretcher, go over here, try not to run over their hand, and we are good. Let's get moving. We also don't even have a long drive to do because the hospital is pretty close. Start this up, and let's go. Okay, I'm going to turn on my sirens just because we're entering into the road. There we go. That guy really pulled over. Thank you for that. 
Now, they don't come to a complete stop in this game. Uh, they just, like, move to the side usually. Uh, okay, occasionally they come to a stop, but it doesn't always happen. I'd say majority of the time they don't. <laughs> Anyways, okay. There we go. I knew we could slow down in time, so I didn't honk the horn or anything. Turn into here. There we go. And we are good. Alright, turn off the vehicle. Jump on out. Uh, okay, I'm going to close the door as well. Don't want one of those news articles where someone stole an ambulance. There we go. And I forgot to put your shirt back on. My bad. We'll make it easier for them to help you in here, I guess. There we go. And over here, and... There, good. 30 reputation points. Nicely done. So, you know what, guys? I think we'll do one final call. Uh, hopefully, it's not too far away. Because <laughs> we have been going for quite a while uh, on this recording. Now, I, I did cut out a lot of stuff, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a good time to also ask if you could drop a like on the video if you are enjoying. And consider subscribing with turning on uh, video notifications by clicking the bell icon beside the, beside the subscribe button. Don't know why I'm stuttering on my words either today. But here we go. I'll just park on up. We are doing pretty good fuel. Oh, vehicle incident. There we go. So take that call. Okay, where do we need to go? Uh, okay, it's not too hard to get there. I'll actually, you know what? This is what we'll do. I'll skip the drive and we'll just see you once we are at the location. Alright guys, we're approaching the scene now. Just over here. There we go. Um, okay, so it looks like they're trying to keep the road open, so we will respect that and just move to the side. I almost ran over the person, not gonna lie. <laughs> Ooh, we are definitely on a hill. Uh, if I turn off the vehicle, is it still gonna roll? No, perfect. Yeah, just making sure the park and brake would get engaged. Very interesting area. It's gonna be hard to get the stretcher into the ambulance, but we'll, we'll manage, I think. If worse comes to worse, we can get the police to help us with that there we go yes yeah, so this person's not breathing no pulse found they're unconscious this is just a mess oh geez okay there we go Ooh, i forgot to turn on my traffic advisors that's not good okay remove the shirt and perform cpr here we go should be good in three two one and Okay, let's check the defibrillator. Let's go like that. Getting nice and quick with this. Put on the leads, the ECG leads. What did I say they stood for? Or like I thought they stood for? Uh, ooh, wait, what? Perform CPR again. Okay. I, I could shock them, but let's do this. I'm guessing it's going to say then to check the leads again after this. And it looks like this is the only person down. Okay, let's so go back over here. Check this out. And they look to be good. Yep. Perfect. So remove all. Put that in the ambulance. Uh, we need to put a neck brace on them. And put back on the shirt. There we go. And do do do. No, I want to pick this up. Perfect. Put that there. Go items. Stretcher. Nice and quick call. Ooh, yeah, look at that. It is rolling down the hill. That's interesting. Pick up the patient. And let's go. Oh, okay. It is def. Look at how slow we're going. Very, very hard to get this there. But we did it. And I think we're good to go. Hopefully we don't start rolling. Yeah, let's turn on those lights. Turn on the vehicle. Oh, we are rolling backwards. I'm not clicking anything. Okay, there we go. Can get moving now. Perfect. So I'll show you guys the drive back. Uh, ooh, traffic is quite heavy here. Um, okay, go nice and slow so traffic can figure out what to do. There we go. Perfect. And just keep on moving. Nice and quick. Here we go. So yeah, I'm curious why we didn't have to shock this person. But we had to shock uh, the other people who weren't breathing, right? I'm guessing because of the way the rhythm was. Uh, I 
know for the other person they were still having like a rhythm that was like spiking a lot so maybe it was that's why we had to shock them to get their heart to go at a normal pace i'm not quite sure but this person it was like a very low it looked like they just weren't breathing at all or had absolutely no kind of rhythm going but i could be wrong about the way those measurements read i'm not quite sure i'm not a paramedic or anything here we go and we can turn this off hop on out grab the stretcher items uh there we go and bring this person into the hospital here we go for whatever reason when you back up and turn it's so much faster than if you're going forward when turning not sure why that is but yeah guys so that's it for this video again if you did enjoy it please drop a like and consider subscribing we greatly appreciate it also want to mention we have a discord server the link's down below uh, you can also find a link in the description to vote for what games you want to see on the channel uh, if you don't see it down there it again is in the discord server you can also find the channel's instagram page and our twitter down below plus our merchandise and our patreon page uh, and what else? There's a few other things like our website, all the skins and mods used in this video are there. Um, I don't know. There's so many things. Go check it out. But definitely also join the Discord server. You guys are awesome. Bye bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.